I'm gonna say, and I was gonna do this all at the reunion, but it's no point. We wanna be internet gangsters today. We're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna start with editing fights. The only thing I'm gonna say about editing fights is I know me, I'm gonna do my big one. But I know they're gonna edit. They edit fights. Y'all seen the T situation. They're not in my favor right now. I could I, I guess the security and the editors are not in my favor. I'm gonna do my big one regardless to my fans. This is for you guys. I'm not too hating ass people here just watching and talking shit. For my fans, I want y'all to know I'm gonna do my big one. Whether they make it look like a stuck with me or got up, I'm gonna let y'all know the real tea. Y'all see the me and the tea fight. Bitch didn't even put a bitch pinch me. And they made it look like she hit me. Can't fuck with me. I don't care. Didn't get hit one time in none of the fights I've had on the show so far. Let y'all know that. So, I'm gonna do my big one. Never scared. Never gave a Boom. Next. Off the fighting, editing, how they gonna make me look with Tzatziki, whatever, because they've been playing this bigger. Oh, matter of fact, before I finish. They fought Marsh for 30 seconds, and they made it look like seven. They shaved it down with their editing. Wake that tea up, ho. While you sitting here acting like you just beat it for seven seconds, I know the real tea. The whole cast knows. Next. Let's get into the conversation that was edited. Um, I was very upset. That's why I haven't been going back and forth with anybody. I said, I don't care how they making me look anymore. As long as the conversation between me and T, I mean, Tzatziki, was put properly, how it actually happened, I wasn't going to fuck. But then I was like, oh, they didn't do it, right? I'm just not going to entertain these hoes. But... What you're not gonna do is call out a fade and think I'm scared. Here we are talking about it. The conversation went like this. Natalie said, okay, y'all, let's let's do it. I said, hold on, Natalie. I got something to say to her. I said, I called you Trashkey because I don't know how to say your name. It's Tasiki. Real sweet. She said it real sweet. So I said, I'm not gonna be a Okay, well, Tasiki. I feel like you mocked me. Woo woo. She was copying, please. Putting it on her sister. She said, well, my sister was telling me you was going to come on the show and jump her. I said, how am I going to jump your sister if I came here by myself? Did I jump you? I've been here and I have I jumped you? She said, no. I said, okay. Mariah jumps in. She's like, well, you guys. I said, I hear what y'all saying, but I want an apology. She's like, you not understanding when I'm, hold, hold my purse. I'm like, cause I ain't no fear in me. I'm gonna stand there. Cause I dare you to do it. You about that life? Do it. Now I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm gonna see you do it. You let another tell you not to do it. That's you, not me. Rolly said, no, nah, E.T. You can't tell me nothing. Get off me. I, I'm going to do what the f I do. Get off me, Rolly. You feel what I'm saying? There's a difference between me and any other f They can cut, shave, edit, anything. My mind is still going to be my mind at the end of the day. I don't care what it look like on TV. Don't give a f I'm going to do what I want to do. So, with that being said, you're going with this false narrative like I never told you trashy to your face. Do that. No, I don't give a f I'm with all that. Know that. Now, we're going to go to this. <sighs> Whatever. So, they were right on the street. She was saying that. Obviously, you could see. She was talking shit, but when she came around me, she never said anything. That's right. why the temperature I was getting, it was like cold. Like, it wasn't... Yeah, it didn't seem like it was no... You see the shit on TV like, y'all. Because I, I didn't took her at the end. When we went to Jamaica, I didn't walk her to the end of the beach. Very dark. It was yeah. very dark. We was out there listening to waves, and I asked. I said, "You say you want to find me?" Yeah. And she, I looked in her eyes, 
And she said, no, I never said that. I said, you never said that. Yeah. She said, no. I was like, wow, you gonna let the fucking uh, crew get you fucked up. And I said, you know, maybe they was telling me you want to fight me because they know how I am. As soon as I see y'all, I'm just going to eat you up. I just wanted y'all to get down so maybe. bad. I don't know, but it seemed like she wanted to get down. Off camera. Goofy. You're the meatball. Okay? How the f*** you do that? Make it make sense. You sitting on live talking about something. I built a, I built a bomb with this I really thought it her. Then why would you ask me for a fade in Jamaica? Make it make sense. I'm gonna let y'all stay asleep. Wake up, cause I'm woke, period. Now, in Jamaica, she told me that security, no, my bad, production told her that I wanted to fight her. I said, damn, they messy. But you can't question me, that's the problem. You thought you could question me. Ain't never on that show did that. I said, they're messy. Never said, I don't wanna fight. I always wanna fight. Been in front of Project, how about that? I always want to fight. I give a show when I want to give a show. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm like, cool, you feel me? They they being messy, all right. They told you I want to fight you, all right. This is like, yeah, I feel like that was weird. They know that me and you both, we from the bottom, we both from the trenches and shit. we both hood. She's giving me compliments. We're giving me compliments. Talking about we both the same type. Ain't no you ask me for a fade. If you did, you did a poor job. Cause you would have got it. Oh. I don't know who the fuck or where the fuck King Tuck came from, but you need to go back and sit on your throne. Because this is not what you want. You gonna find me in a dress? Good job. <laughs> Ain't nobody scared of none of you. You would, I, I'm mad I'm giving you this much attention when you barely said two words to me in the house. You barely spoke. You were a backdrop. All you defending these but you didn't say shit about these in the house. You didn't say shit. The only who a real ass who told me about myself was Sukiana. Suki is the only real that said I was out of line for doing anything I did. And that's on period. She was and in the back shut the f up like you was been doing. What you talking about? I did what the f I wanted to do when the f I wanted to do it and none of you told me what to do and how to do it. Let's wake that tea up. I barely said two words to you on the show, and now you want all this? Let's be real. You need a storyline. Your sister was your only storyline, and she's not coming to the reunion. So you're trying to stay relevant. And you know I'm not going to give a f You can't call out nothing this way and think I was going to be like, oh, my God, she wants to fight me. I'm not going to the reunion. Please. That bag better be nice, though, because I'm waking up a lot of tea on you. I hope y'all know that. Your only storyline is Krishan. You fought nobody. You had no issues with nobody on the show. But all of a sudden, you got a problem with me and Smiley and DJ Sky. You didn't say nothing in our face. You fake. You fake. Be honest. You a fake. But you had a problem, you should have said something. On camera. And everybody want to know what the f he was whispering about in the mother van? I was whispering because she was a clown standing up, scared I was going to run up on that. Yeah, that's what me and Rolly was talking about. We were talking about your I was laughing. Like, look at this dumb standing up, scared that I'm about to run up on her. Why you ain't going to do that? You and Mariah fake is sitting here cahooting. You had Big Banger call my phone. You had Big Banger call my phone. Mr. Lickback. Call my phone to tell me not to fight you. You had Mariah in my ear every day telling me not to fight you. Then you brought DJ Sky at the club to tell you to walk you up to me so we could talk it out. 
and you tried to apologize to me in the club. 